The Kogi State chapters of the Nigeria Labor Congress and the Trade Union Congress say the rumor being spread that the state civil servants are being owed 38 months salary is far from the truth. The union leaders who made their views known in Lokoja condemned the rumor, describing it as unfortunate. There are persons that were brought in at 16 months, they were cleared when they were already owing them 16 months. Others were being owned 22 months before they were cleared. Others were being owned 23 months before they were cleared. Others were being owned 7 months, 3 months, as the case may be. So that's exactly what it is. So depending on the number of months before you were cleared by the then Okala Odudo Screening Committee, before you were brought on, on board, those months for which you were being owned are now cumulative or accumulation of salary areas of that category of worker. Which, if you now add the seven months being owned by every category of worker on it, it will now give you about 30 months. I want to say that with the, the pressures and appeal and the applications of civil service rules, the Excellency magnanimously granted clemency and pardon, which, which clear about 40 infractions, leaving a balance of four. The diaspora, the fake certificate, fraud, and uh, stay results. So, and bringing those people that were having other infractions, the time they were brought back to salary determine the areas they are owing them. They said the government is owing genuine workers seven months outstanding salary. December 2018 is outstanding. January to April 2019 is outstanding, giving us a balance of five months. And in 2017, August to December, state government paid us 60%. Leaving a balance of 40 percent for five months, that is 200 percent. That also amounts to two months. If you add it, that is seven months. In the case of local government workers, they attributed the accumulated salaries to percentage payments of salaries owed by past administrations. Because salaries are paid in percentage. So if you put all the differences in the percentage together, you now see from the continuity of Wada's government to the present Yayabelo's government. In the local government and teachers' money, it's over 30 months salary they are owing those category of workers. Our advice is government and labor to sit down and, you know, let the, the AG's office that are shadowed with the responsibility of payment of salary sit down, calculate, and come out with data and figures of the persons and the amount they are owing them. It's an obvious part. You understand what I'm saying? We are not saying that the whole workers in the state is. The government is owing them 38 months. To settle the workers' salary of standing, the union leaders called on the federal government to release the balance of the 30.8 billion naira bailout fund to the state government. On the judiciary staff workers' face up, the TUC chairman Roti Ojo said they are being owed 10 months' salary as a result of strike actions against the pay parade system introduced to ascertain the true number of civil servants in the state. Avoy Umogu, AIT News, Lokoja.